Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I will be telling you the most important topics for your board examination and uh, chemistry is the subject where you have to learn a lot of reactions and reasoning questions are there. So I will just tell you. So I will start with metallurgy. And yes, uh, if you want all reactions ebook, of chemistry then you can purchase it from the link in the description box it is of uh, 50 rupees only i have chemistry pyqs that is the previous year questions for 10th class that is also available you can buy it from the description box it is of 70 rupees so i will start with metallurgy you have to do all the named reactions in this chapter you will get pairs process And in that you can see how bauxite is converted to alumina. Then we have hall heralds process. Alright. And uh, in this process you have to make sure that uh, you learn the role of cryolite. You must know the formula of cryolite that is Na3ALF6. Then we have role of fluor spar and uh, cryolite. Please make sure to learn all these uh, reasoning questions. Then we have role of powdered coke, right? There is this hoops process. And that is specifically used to uh, get the purest form of aluminium. In case there is any impurity left, to get the purest form, 99.9%. Our next chapter is HCL where you will get laboratory preparation of HCL. If you do not know the reaction then please learn it. Whenever you write laboratory preparations or all those reactions which are asked, make sure to uh, mention the temperature or uh, the pressure whatever is asked in the question and whatever is provided when you learn the reactions right if you heat this uh, reaction under uh, like above 200 degrees celsius then na2so4 is formed and sodium sulfate uh, is a sticky mass which is formed and it sticks to glass apparatus and it is very difficult to remove that is why we do not prefer temperatures more than 200 degrees celsius heat energy is also wasted in this reaction and they may ask you reasoning questions why do we use concentrated sulfuric acid as the drying agent, right? Next is um, fountain experiment. A very important experiment. Which uh, explains extreme solubility of HCl gas. Then this reaction. They may ask you uh, a basic and an acidic gas reacts to form a white solid compound. So the answer is ammonia and HCl. Both these gases react and they form NH4Cl, dense white fumes. Okay, NH4Cl is also a white solid compound. If uh, the question asks white solid compound, the answer will remain the same. Then fifth is uh, preparation of HCl by that funnel arrangement. You might be thinking that I am covering all these topics but I feel everything is important here. So you will have to explain why we use this uh, funnel arrangement. Sixth is this reaction Na2S2O3 plus HCl. You have to balance all the equations in case you do not do, uh, marks will be deducted. 2NaCl plus H2O plus SO2 plus S. In this question, they will ask that uh, HCl reacts with a compound to produce yellow uh, sulfur uh, particles. Ye yellow particles. So, the answer will be sulfur. And the compound used is 
sodium thiosulfate so when they react you get uh, all these uh, products and this is yellow in color there is one more reaction where this diamine silver chloride is formed make sure to do that also since it gives uh, thick curdy white precipitate of agcl one more reaction mno2 plus 4hcl which is frequently asked that is mncl2 plus i am just balancing it so, uh, cl2 this is chlorine gas which is greenish yellow in color note the colors also they may ask you that this color is released so you have to identify it then our next chapter is ammonia in this you will get haber's process a very very important reaction and in this i'll just show you how this reacts you have to write all the favorable conditions like the temperature which is in between 450 to 500 degrees celsius then you'll mention the pressure that should be above 200 atmospheric atm and then catalyst that is finely divided iron and then promoter promoter traces of molybdenum so molly is my sister's name she has a youtube channel if you know if you guys know her right then uh, you can study the fountain experiment that is very similar to the previous chapter it is almost the same only the difference is uh, in the color that is released right then you will study chemical properties under that reaction of ammonia with oxygen and uh, then catalytic oxidation of ammonia right this chapter is ammonia as i have told you you have to uh, do all the laboratory preparations then we have a uh, manufacture of nitric acid that is by oswald process where there are three chambers catalytic uh, and then oxidation chamber and then absorption tower and the reactions of uh, carbon with nitric acid sulfur with nitric acid make sure to practice them as well as i have told you you can buy those all reactions chemistry ebook in which i have covered all the reactions of this uh, book for semester 2 examination next chapter is h2so4 that is sulfuric acid this is called king of chemicals and uh, contact process is a very important reaction in this particular chapter you can also uh, learn the reactions of chemical properties of dilute sulfuric acid one reaction like uh, zns plus h2so4 they'll ask you how will we uh, come to know what is released and if sulfuric acid is added to zns so when they react it forms znso4 plus h2s you can talk about the smell of h2s you know that is rotten egg smell identification and also learn the reactions of h2so4 as a uh, as a dehydrating agent and then oxidizing agent and so on okay then our last chapter is organic chemistry first is uh, iupac name it the nomenclature of organic compounds right then second is uh, those substitution reactions also made a video on organic chemistry you can watch it you should know about what functional group is this 
and then UOH and so on. CHO, like this is alcohol, this is carboxylic acid, this is aldehyde. And yes, you can go through previous year questions. And I have an ebook available for that chemistry ebook of previous year question for semester 2 examination according to the reduced labels. So, you will get all important questions that can be repeated this year. Again, I am telling you the link is in the description box. You can buy it and study alloys part also. Like, duralumin is an alloy of aluminium, copper, magnesium, and manganese. And aluminium is selected as major component of duralumin alloy because it brings lightness. Duralumin is used in aircraft because of its lightness. Now, I am telling some important mixed question. Addition of excess ammonium hydroxide into copper sulfate solution. This is also an important question. Please uh, refer to your book. Then question like crushing of the ore into a fine powder that is called. See crushing is pulverization. And heating of ore in the absence of air to a high temperature is calcination and then I am asking you random questions just for your revision and these were asked in previous year when excess of ammonia is treated with chlorine NH3 plus Cl2 the reaction will be NH4Cl plus N2 excess of ammonia okay you have to balance all these reactions and the preparation of ethanol from ethyl chloride. Again, a frequently asked question in board examination. That will be C2H5O, sorry, C2H5Cl plus KOH, that is aqueous, gives C2H5OH plus KCl. This is already balanced. And if you are not able to balance equations, then please do not panic. Move on to next questions. At the end, uh, you can balance all the equations. They will ask you questions on distinguish between uh, dilute HCl acid and dilute sulfuric acid using lead nitrate solution. So you'll have to uh, uh, react these compounds and then spot the difference, right? Let me provide you reactions and ask you which process is this, which catalyst is used and so on. Thank you for watching this video. Have a good day. All the best for your examination.